Growing up with Fess Parker's portrayal of Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone, I found flintlocks quite fascinating. Their earlier guns fired with rocks and steel, but the true flintlocks appeared early in the 17th century and for over 200 years were the cutting edge of firearm technology. We're going to take a quick look at a couple of pistols. The first is a French Napoleonic First Empire pistol from around 1800. It features nicely engraved metal surfaces with a gold wash on the flared barrel. The gun is a 70 caliber smoothbore. The handsome walnut stock is finely checkered. My friend Luke de Belgian translated the words on the top flat to twisted barrel, which I believe to mean this is a Damascus barrel produced by twisting and welding strips of steel and iron around a mandrel. For this reason, I'm not going to shoot this one. This next pistol is a large 54 caliber gun marked F. Clark Toronto. I don't know much about this gun, but it has some engraving on the metal and a little carving on the handsome maple stock. It has a rifle barrel, so hey, I think we'll shoot this one. So just the bare bones basics. To get this thing shooting, we'll take the contents here of our man purse and, and a source of gunpowder. And then this little horn is a source of a finer priming powder for the pan. We need some 54 caliber round lead balls, some cotton patches. You lubricate with saliva. We need a powder measure extra flints in case the plants don't align and screwdriver so we can change out the flints or adjust the flints and a little bottle of oil and a few little cleaning supplies is uh, just the basics here's a pan brush to keep your pan clean and then the, there's a vent pick Keep your uh, flash hole cleaned out of carbon. The more you shoot these, the more fouling builds up and the harder it is to load. Make sure you seat your ball down solid on top of the powder charge. Prime your pan and then close your frizzin and hope for the best. Sometimes the flintlock gods are angry and the planets aren't aligned. It could be uh, flint has gone dull, could be your lock's not tuned properly, could be your flash hole is plugged up. And in this case, it was just a touch of spooge on the prison face that prevented it from firing. I just love these slow motion, low light shots. Here we go in real time. So what's happening here is we're pulling the trigger, the hammer falls, the flint makes contact with the frizzin, opening the pan and showering sparks onto the priming powder. Priming powder vents through to the main powder charge, ignites that, and then expels the ball. In a tight 
time before the invention of matches. A handy feature with flint locks is to place a piece of charred cloth in the pan of an unloaded gun and pull the trigger to start a fire. 